Well, we have the most perfect day for you. A warm hello in every sense of the word. The sun is out and football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long. And it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch looks terrific. The players are ready to get started. And we cannot wait for the contest that lies ahead. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. According to what we've been told, this is how it looks. It's a 4-3-3. Yes, and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another. If that happens, then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack and you can be exposed defensively. So compactness can't be compromised. And you need talkers in this team. You need leaders and people that are willing to organize things very quickly. And as you can see, we've already started here. over the line Juvinho Juvinho Delicate ball, knocks it away. It was one quality pass away from being a very decent chance, but very promising. Parma seemed to have chosen a tougher route through the middle. That was easily read and dealt with. Away from immediate danger. work on the right flank now what's next well we don't even need to look at the stats do we Peter zero attempt zero goals and uh, excitement forget it well, that's a foul free kicks been given Looks to clip it forward. Bruno Alves is there, and he can get that clear. Oh, that had to be more accurate. It's a loose ball. And here's Boateng. Boateng! A great save, real class. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. Out to the right. Out to the right. And that has been clear. And that'll be the final action of the first half. So both sides have drawn blanks and have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Milner. So, off we go once more. Well, the first half didn't really produce the goals we'd have liked. Hopefully they've been saved for the, the second. For that to be the case, though, we'll need to see more energy and invention early on. A 
he's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Hoists it forward. Chiesa. Oh, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Loose ball, who's going to get that? Patel. Very few chances to talk of, Jim. Defence is, it seems, on top here. Well, I think it's a, a fair reflection on what we've seen so far. Neither side has produced that many efforts at goal simply because respective defences have been strong. And here's Boateng. Gets it back. They've managed to get it away. Good idea, just poorly executed. Chiesa. What an adventurous run from a defender. Deflected over the goal line for a corner. Palmer have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. There are a few waiting for it. Tries one! It's a bit of a try. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work though. Another change here. I think this is going to add an entirely different dimension to their attack now. They've got the physical presence, they've got a real aerial threat, and uh, it looks more promising from here. Forward it goes. And it's Boateng. Boateng making use of the space out wide. Fiorentina get it back again. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Into stoppage time, and it is still goalless. So that's it, it is all over. And it looked nil-nil from a fair way out. A little craft or guile or penetration. Defence is largely untroubled, it's goals. What are your thoughts on today's game?